Tired of driving over potholes? City leaders tell News 4 San Antonio they hear you. As News 4 San Antonio's Emily Bauckham explains tonight, that's why they're drawing up a budget for next year that includes millions more for street maintenance. This road is one of many across the city that got the green light to be fixed, but the project hit a stop sign called politics. Our streets are absolutely collapsing. It's a bumpy ride through the Feather Ridge neighborhood on the northeast side. When it rains, we literally have small lakes in front of a lot of our properties on the street because of the way that they have concaved. For all of us. Homeowners Association oh, President Connie Marzalak says plans money. to fix these streets hit a roadblock. The city pulled funding for several badly needed maintenance projects because of stalled contract talks with first responders. But for some of my neighbors, while they understand that police and fire are extremely important, the safety of their families and the health of their families are important, they are for us also. And I think that there's enough room and there should be enough money for all of us to be able to provide something better for our families. Very engaged council. City leaders say they're listening. Next year's proposed budget includes $64 million for street maintenance. That's more than 20 million more than this year. And this budget is based on all the interaction that we've had with the residents who have told us very clearly that infrastructure and street maintenance is a big priority for San Antonians. Projects that were put off, including Feather Ridge, are now at the top of the priority list. I can't begin to tell you how excited the neighborhood is that these streets are finally going to get done. If you know of a bumpy road in your neighborhood, it's not too late to get it on the final list of projects. Just call your council person. We have all the contact information on our website, news4sa.com. Reporting on the northeast side, Emily Bauckham, News 4 San Antonio.